the best FIFA 17 tips, check out FIFASolve.com. Hi guys, it's Stephen from FIFA Solve. So welcome to another FIFA 17 skills tutorial. This one is one of my favourite on the whole game this year. It's um, easily one of the most overpowered as well. It's probably my favourite skill move to use on the entire game. It's the heel to heel ball flick, which um, is a three to four star skill move. It is incredibly overpowered. Um, to, to, I'm going to be explaining how to do it, where to do it, who to use, and I'm going to have a Division 1 secret for you as well, like a foot champion secret against some of the world best like world-class players on the game. Um, as I said, it's a three-star skill move, but I would highly recommend to you not uh, avoiding the three-star skill variation at all costs. Um, highly recommend to, to not use that because it's slower. The four-star variation is the one I'm really talking about. Just use the four-star variation. It's faster and it's more effective. So the controls, let's get into the controls straight away. So to do it, with Ando Herrera here, who's a four-star skiller, all you do is use the right analog stick, the skill stick, and flick that in the direction that you're going in and then what you're not going in. So we're gonna be flicking it left in this example because we're going left, that's the direction we're facing. And then we'll flick it right in the direction we're not facing, not going into. So look at the right stick here and just flick that left like that and then right. And uh, easy, guys, as easy as that. It's really a really, really easy skill move to use. You'll really get the hang of it really quickly if you ain't using this or you haven't added it to your game as of yet. And uh, you'll thank me for it because it is an amazing skill move. Um, to, to do one on one defenders is, is probably the best, I think. I really do rate it. I use it a lot. Um, so look at the right stick again here. We're going to be flicking it right and then left because right's the direction we're going in, and then left's the direction we're not going in. So that's all you've got to remember. If you implement that in your mind, you'll remember how to do it every time. And then we get a long shot in there with Lalana and put that one in the back of the net. So yeah, guys, it's it's uh, you, you can use five star skillers as well. Obviously, I use three star skillers. Uh, I use four star skillers and five star skillers. I never use the three star variation because I've all, I've got tackled every single time I've done that because it's so slow and the player just catches. If you do the play, he just catches up with you straight away anyway. So who to use? I've already covered this. Four to five star skillers is what you want to do, and how how you, you you when you want to do it. The timing is when a player comes in for the tackle. It's great against high pressure players, players that are just nuts as sliding in or, or coming in for the stand tackle. That is when you do it one on one when he's about to come towards you and he he thinks he can just come up to you and tackle you. You do the hill to ball flick and you'll go with straight past him. As for where to use, middle of the park, the wings, um, in the opponent's final third, it just causes just panic and chaos in the opponent's third. But you see these clips here, look, he slides, he mistimes it. You can you can get fouls for this. You can get free kicks, you can get um, penalties, win penalties with this skill move. Killer tips, this is my uh, foot champions in Division 1 secret. Um, this guy that you're about to see, the clips I'm about to break down for you, he he was so good. No skill moves really done him. He times the, the tackles to perfection. He cut the passing lanes like a boss. Some of the best players in the world will do the contain game where they'll just... Not do high pressure, they'll do the opposite, they'll contain and cut all your passing lanes and this is what this geezer do, done. Um, he, I want you to keep your eye on the one circled, because that's who he's controlling, but he's also got his players in great positions where I cannot pass it anywhere. So, look at this guy here. I can't pass that guy because he, he times his cut passing lanes, he'll intercept that and he'll time it to perfection. So that passes off. Um, he's, he's covered him and also the player next to him he's well in the passing lane there he's actually in that passing lane so I cannot pass up to him as for the one further up that guy will intercept it if I spread the blade play to the other side you can see he's absolutely got me he's, he's an incredible player and um, I can't to the right as well as them two players uh, marking you know it, it's too far back to pass back that much so what I do is something amazing I take my hand off the sprint button which normally means you're going to do a skill move because that's what you, you most skill moves like this one as well uh, you, you don't use this hold the sprint down and I'm going to carry on going in that direction that I just showed you with the arrow there are the arrows for he thinks I'm going to do a skill move he thinks I'm going to cut inside but I don't I carry on going in the direction I'm going in with the left stick just dribbling and I activate a heel to heel ball flick and the great thing about the skill move is it's a skill move where you carry on going in the direction you're going in you do go in, if you're going in this direction, you're going to carry on going in that direction. And as you can see, it gives me a bit of burst of pace, more, not of speed boost, but momentum with my with my sprinting. And I absolutely leave him for dead, and that created an opportunity. The last chance of the first half, that was. But that's a trick, guys. Just let go of the, the sprint button, so he thinks you're going to cut inside, he thinks you're going to do a skill move, because that's not what normally do. Because, as I said, 99% skill moves on FIFA, you can't hold sprint down, and you can't with this one as well. 
the burber spin, you, it's, it's a running skill move. You, you can sprint and do the burber spin, but there's, there's exceptions. There's only a couple of skills in the game that you can do while sprinting. So he thought I was going to do a, a, a skill move, or he thought I was going to pass it upwards, so he st carried on cutting the pass on those. But I didn't. I just went in a direction I'd done a skill move, in the direction I'm going in, which is the hill till ball flick does, and uh, I left him for dead. So that's a little trick you can use against a player that is really hard to break down, and that really confused him for the rest of the game, because I was unpredictable, and he didn't know what I was going to do for the rest of the game, and I actually went on to win that 2-1, I remember that game, it was a chess match. So guys, I hope this has helped you, this this is an amazing skill move, please implement it in your game, because it's my personal favourite of, of this year, it's been in the game for a few years, it was one of my favourites last year, but I think um, out of all the FIFAs it's been most overpowered for this year, it is an incredible skill move, um, as I said just dodge that freestyle variation at all costs. So guys, I will have uh, the episode 2 of the subscriber series up next. I'll also have a cheap under 10k squad builder after that. And then another tutorial, probably a sweat tutorial, because that's, that's pretty much ready. And it, it doesn't sound that um, exciting, but trust me, I'm going to break down th that uh, tutorial and show you how to sweat goals. So guys, I'll see you for the subscriber series next. Thanks for watching, and yeah, I'll see you for that.